What's up gamers and welcome to another episode of Like or Dislike where we look at some of the latest games that are coming out, give you a little bit of the story, tell you what we think about the game after getting our hands on it, do some pros and cons while all showing you gameplay at the same time. And today we are looking at Team Sonic Racing. Now this is a team based racing game. You have a story mode, a local play with up to 4 players and a multiplayer mode. Now you can play the local play and the multiplayer either single player or as teams with a few different racing modes under them. Story wise you're helping create the ultimate engine by participating in different type of races to help gather research. You'll have circuit races, time races, elimination and a few other racing modes that you'll be able to do. Now like the name suggests this is a team base so you're racing as a team and with each partner having a different strength each team has basically three different classes that you can choose from. You'll have a speed, a defense, and a tactical driver. And they all have their own unique abilities to help with that. Now you can customize the vehicles with different parts for better performance. And you can customize the look with different styles of colors and vinyls. You can unlock the customizable parts by using in-game credits that you earn from beating the races, coming in top places, or completing certain tasks and you get those by just unlocking them using the credits and each each part that you get is going to be random so you might be getting a part for the vehicle you're driving you might get a part for the vehicle you don't drive that just all depends now you have 15 different tracks to race on each with their own unique obstacles you have different power-ups that you can use on the track to give you and your team a competitive advantage as well now not only with these power-ups, not only can you use them, but you can also give them to your fellow teammates, and they can give you one as well. And it really comes in handy. Even when you're racing with just the AI, you can pass them an ability, and they can give you abilities as well. Now, drifting is also an option in this game, and it definitely comes at the right time. If you learn how to do drifting right, it can help you out majorly in this game. Now, graphics-wise, this game is very colorful, it's bright, if you have a 4K TV, if you have a high def TV, you will definitely enjoy the look of this game. Now, the cutscenes are pretty much with audio and text using the characters from the Sonic Universe to tell this story. Now, all this gameplay that you guys have seen is being captured off of Xbox One X. And like I said, graphic wise, it's pretty nice, pretty smooth. Like I said, this game is very bright, very colorful. I probably can't explain that enough, but it, it's definitely be nice in your eyes. And that's pretty much the game. So with that being said, let's take a look at the pros versus the cons. And starting off with the pros, the first one we're going to look at, the racing is overall fun. Now, some of the races are going to be challenging, especially as you go into the story mode, you get deeper into the story mode. The races do get challenging, but overall they're fun. Some races you can easily beat, some you might have to do a couple of times until you get it just right. Now, next pro we're going to look at, and this is a personal pro for me, the good music. All these tracks have unique tracks to them, music tracks I should say, and it definitely gives you the vibe of playing those tracks and racing against them. And to me, you got to have good music when you're in a racing game. It helps you stay focused and makes you enjoy it. If the music sucks, you might not be able to enjoy the game. But like I said, that's a personal pro for me. And the last pro we're going to look at is local play. With so many games only doing an online multiplayer mode, it's nice that this has a local play. So you can play with people on the couch. And the fact that it has up to four players, that's even better. So if you want to have some competition with your friends and your some family, you got that option. And I think that's a really good thing. So with the pros being done, let's take a look at the cons. The first con we're going to look at is repetitive tracks. Now unfortunately, when you're going through the story mode, you're going to go through a lot of these same tracks. Even though you got 15 different tracks, you're going to go through them repeatedly over and over. And sometimes they do what they call mirror tracks, where you basically run in the track backwards. So it can get annoying, can get boring sometimes. So keep that in mind. The next con we're going to look at, you can't mix and match the teams. Now I understand that you have different classes for the teams, and I think that's pretty cool. But I just, I, I don't like that you can't mix and match them. The teams are already preset. Now, I, I definitely understand if you can't have a whole team of speed, a whole team of defense. I totally understand if you have you have to have one of each team, but you can't mix and match the Sonic Universe's characters. So I think that's something they missed out on. And the last con we're going to look at is the story overall. 
the story is pretty much lackluster it keeps you interested in it but otherwise it's not going to have you really derived into it. it's not going to make you care about what's going on it's going to make you get by and sometimes it can feel a little drawn out so but that's the pros and the cons overall i definitely enjoyed the game i had fun with it from beginning to end and if you enjoy a good racing game definitely take a look at it if you want to have a little competition with your friends and family definitely take a look at it like i said with the local play i think that's a really good thing with everything being strictly online it's nice to have a game where you can just play on the couch with friends and family but that's just my thoughts let me know how you guys feel about it have you got the game are you thinking about getting the game does this help you get the game let me know how you guys feel in the comments if you haven't already subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button we talk about stuff going on in the game and the tech world do reviews on some of the latest game and take this out do top 10 of the new games coming out every month and so much more make sure to follow us on our social media pages so you can keep up to date what's going on or if you want to reach out to me i love talking about gamers so don't be afraid to hit me up catch me streaming on twitch twitch playing different games and just having fun but this is proto and i'll catch you guys in the next video